People need to read the scripture a lot more. Let's turn if you go to James 4 real quick. Just because God will forgive sinners, and just because God shows great mercy, and just because Jesus showed a lot of mercy to a lot of people who did a lot of wicked things, does not mean that we should be making ourselves friends with wicked people. You minister to them, you don't just make them your friends. Unless they're repentant, unless they're willing to change, then you welcome them in. Simple, simple formula. James chapter 4, verse number 4, the Bible reads, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Let me ask you this. Was Jesus the enemy of God? Was Jesus a friend of the world? He couldn't be. If he has friendship with the world, he's at enmity with God. Jesus is God. He's not at enmity with himself. Now, did he love the world? Yes. Can you love someone you're not friends with? Okay, absolutely. Do you love the person whose door you knock that you don't even know that you want to save from hell? That's why you're there. Does that mean you're friends with that person? No. We don't need to be making ourselves friends with the people that we may love and try to get saved. It's an important point. Because when people hear this, they think that's complete, you know, this teaching on, on what we saw. Go back to Psalm 26. What do we see in Psalm 26? I have not sat with vain persons. Okay, vain, just, just people who are all about things that just don't matter at all. Vain people, you know, that their life is vanity. Okay, maybe it's, it's they care just about their looks and their appearance, you know, just the self-glorification. It's just empty, it's vain, right? It's meaningless. I have not sat with vain persons. Neither will I go in with dissemblers, right? People are trying to just cause a bunch of problems and stuff. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I'll tell you this right now, that none of these things, none of these phrases, none of these assertions of what the psalmist here is saying he's not going to do, none of these contradict Jesus' character and what Jesus did. I believe all of these things, Jesus would be able to say the same exact thing, because this is righteous and this is good. He wasn't going and making friends with dissemblers, vain persons, evildoers, and the wicked. Did he minister? Yes. Did he love them and try to get them saved? Yes. But that's not what this verse is talking about. This verse is talking about being, you know, friends and being one of them and being part with them, right? The, con you know, you know, the congregation of evildoers. You're not part of that congregation, right? You don't ever want to be part of that congregation. Don't ever be part of that congregation. You're supposed to hate the congregation of evildoers. But we still go in, in and try to reach people, right? So that's how you can easily reconcile Scripture and look at this. Because, you know, we have to reconcile Scripture. We have to get all the verses, all the Bible, and get all the understanding of who God is based on all the Word of God to give us our understanding of, of how we should live, what we should do.